Yo guys, what is up, Davis here. This is the HV4 chip, and it is a lot better than I thought it would be. So, you know, these just came out in June, and I wanted to get some, and I was like, fuck it, why not? So, I wanted to try it. I got me, like, 12, I think, and right now, they're a little bit cheaper than a HV3. Uh, I'm going to be selling these on my website, uh, and I'm also going to be selling these on eBay. So, if you want one, you can get one. Um... So yeah, let me show you the difference between an ASV4 and an ASV3. This is the ASV3, it's a little bit bigger than an ASV4 is. And the difference between the two is uh, the ASV3, it has six wires and the ASV4 has eight wires. So you have two more extra wires to solder to than normal. And as you can see, the ASV3 is just, it has a lot of components on there and the ASV4 barely has any, and it's just a lot more cleaner, it's a lot more simpler, and uh, there's also not a standby voltage light like the ASV3 has, and there's no crystal, and the, the ASV3 is also 5 volts, this one is uh, 3v3, so, and also when you install this on a Corona, um, you don't have to bridge anything on the pat on the uh, chip itself, because um, I was wondering that, and uh, I answered my own question and it works fine without having to program it or bridge anything. You just stick it on there, solder it up, you know, wire it up, right ECC, and it'll boot Zell. So um, you don't have to program nothing or anything. Also on the back of the HB4 you have this sticker and hopefully I don't drop it this time. But you scratch this off and then you go to this website right here and you type in the code. And it'll tell you if this chip is authentic or not. So I thought that's pretty cool. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna show you the boot times on this console because it is. I I honestly like this chip. Uh, it's it's pretty reliable, and I like the results that I got with it. So um, let's go ahead and start. So guys, that is the HV4, almost said HV3, but this is the install, and just to give you guys an idea, you have the same wires pretty much up on top of the board right here. Uh, you just solder the, the V3 wire to this, this spot right there instead of that other point up top. Um, and then you solder those two to those resistors down there. And then you have the post fix and yeah, I honestly, it's, it's really good results. Uh, I was testing this before I made the video and out of about 15 times turning it on, it insta booted about nine times out of the 15. So, and then the other, what, six times it, it glitched like, I think it was two cycles, it, then it booted um, and it did that like three times. And then the rest was, it took like up to like five uh, glitches to boot and so yeah it, it's good results honestly um so yeah if you guys are interested in these chips you guys will be able to purchase from me uh, on my website or you can purchase them on, e on ebay or find somewhere else to, to buy them that's up to you so yeah guys uh thanks for watching you guys have a great day